All right, what's going on guys? My name is Folder, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna to talk about tape stops in FL Studio and in Pro Tools. All right, so we're gonna start in FL Studio because a lot of you guys tend to use FL more than Pro Tools, but it's really easy in both. So what you're gonna do is where you want your tape stop to be, I like to just make a cut on the beat, right? And in the description, there's gonna be a plugin. It's gonna be Deep Blue Tape Stop. You're gonna download that plugin. All right, once you download Deep Blue Tape Stop, you're gonna go ahead and put it on the track like this. And you're gonna put the trigger all the way up. You're gonna right click, click Create Automation Clip. And that's all you're gonna do for that. You can change the slowdown. I normally go anywhere from like 15 to 20. I normally just do 15, it's very fast, very nice sound. All right, next up, you're gonna add Edison. And you're gonna change this from on play to on input. That'll make it a perfect like audio for your uh, file. All right, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and open up Deep Blue. Go ahead and close the mix. Turn the trigger all the way down. And then you're just gonna click on the play button and record. So you click record, that's recording, click play. All right, so now we have this little file made. Click this arrow and drag to the playlist. And there you go, it's gonna cut the beginning because it always puts a little beginning on it. And then, yeah, so this might be too slow, so I'm gonna speed it up. So I kinda want this to end sooner, actually. So we go like 20, try that. So if you don't like it, just delete it. And then go here, turn the trigger down, and try again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line this up. And that's pretty close. So to make two cuts. Gotta go ahead and trim the beat. And then I guess we'll just time stretch it back into place. So now it's time stretched back into place. Cut this a little bit. Delete the blue tape stop and Edison, and you can delete the trigger track, and it will sound like this. All right, like I said, the link for Deep Blue will be in the description. But now we're gonna jump into Pro Tools. So in Pro Tools, it's extremely easy. So what we're gonna do is go to the part of the song we want our tape stop. So I'm just gonna delete that. All right, and so here's our beat. So it sounds like this usually. All right, so what we're gonna do is zoom in and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my snap to half note. And we're just gonna do this little half bar tape stop right here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and highlight the beat. You can cut it if you want to, it doesn't really matter. So you can do this. You're gonna click on this. Go to audio suite, go to pitch shift, and go down to verify, click this, and literally just click render. You don't have to change anything with this plugin because it will always be the time you need it to be and it always stops perfectly. So when I click play, here's just the beat. But yeah, guys, that's been me on Folder, and that's been a little tutorial on how to do tape stops in FL Studio and in Pro Tools. Like I said, I hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fucking cool stuff. Discord and Twitter in the description down below, along with Deep Blue Tape Stop. So, I'm out. Peace.